For the treadmill to work effectively, it must be kept clean. Dust, dirt, and debris will collect in and on the machine over time. Cleaning the surface of the equipment does not always prevent the accumulation of debris inside the motor hood and other internal parts of the treadmill. Dirt in the motor area can cause motors to overheat and electronics to fail. Vacuuming in the interior of the machine should take place at least monthly to prevent the buildup of harmful debris inside the treadmill. Unplug the treadmill from the wall to prevent potential injury and also to prevent damage to the equipment. To access the motor area, use an Allen wrench and remove the four motor hood bolts. After the bolts have been removed, carefully lift and remove the motor hood cover from the treadmill. Use the crevice tool attachment on your vacuum cleaner to remove dust and particles from the motor area of the treadmill. Be careful when vacuuming around the electronics that you do not disconnect or damage any of the wires or components on the board. Keeping the electronics clean can prevent short circuits and premature failure. Remove dust and particles from around the roller. This will help keep the area under the belt clean and reduce friction. Most particles from the outside will settle in these areas. Keeping the area around the drive belt clean will extend the life of the drive belt. Dust particles in the V-grooves can cause the belt to wear out faster and can cause noise as the belt goes around the pulleys. Vacuum the vents in the motor to remove dust and blockages so the motor can cool down. Carefully replace the hood and secure it with four hood screws. Remember to plug the treadmill back into the wall. Remember to vacuum the area around the motor during maintenance of the treadmill. Vacuuming under the hood should take place at least monthly.